So we've got an old American crawler crane here. What they're doing here is they're doing a little dynamic compaction. What they do, that big, uh, I don't know, that's probably a five or six ton uh, weight. What they do is they pick it up and they're doing this building pad right here. But everywhere there's a little flag is where it needs to be compacted. So what they'll do is they'll come over here and they'll lift that weight right above those flags, pick it up probably 20 and 25 feet and drop it. And what it does is it packs the ground. All this is about 15 feet of fill when they built the highway. But what it does is it'll pick this big weight up here all the way to the top and being a friction crane they can pick it up and drop it. It's got a little fray right there. So it'll pick this big weight up and just kind of drive around each one of those flags and pick it up and drop it. And it picks the ground, packs the ground. And they got this special bucket on this T300. It's the same size as that packer right there. That way you can scoop up dirt and just, because it'll probably sink in the ground probably two feet. It just scoops up the right amount of dirt, fills the hole up. So, pretty neat operation. Too bad I missed it today. But here's another plate to have to drop. They've been doing some serious welding on it according to the whole pack of sticks or rods they've burnt. Evidently they broke it. So quite a few rods he's burnt off on this thing. But that's an American 597C friction crane doing dynamic compaction for a new building pad. around here to crane real quick. We got it locked up pretty good. So what's bad about the new hydraulic cranes you sure can't pick up a a weight like that and drop it. You gotta have the the old friction cranes that can pick it up and let it go, let it free fall. So a classic that's slowly fading away.